Hey, this is Don Johnson, Airbrush Gallery. This is another little tech tip newsletter for my new YouTube channel. In this little tech tip newsletter, we're going to go over hood liners. It's a great way to expand your market, use your skills to make uh, some more money is by doing the underside of hoods or hood liners. It's real popular with people who do who take their cars to car shows. And once you do one, you get it in a car show, you'll end up with a lot more business if you do a good job. So it's just another way for you to make some money with your airbrushing skills. This is an aftermarket fiberglass hood off of a Mustang. There is no hood liner on it. Usually there's a felt piece that attaches to the bottom of the hood for sound deadening. Those can be painted too. In this case, there is none. But if that's what the car has, then you can undo it from the hood and paint it. It's like a fuzzy material. So the artwork doesn't come out quite as nice, but it is paintable. On this um, fiberglass hood, it was based black and clear coated. I prep sold it, wax and grease remover. You can use um, Bulldog to uh, help you scuff the hood. You use that in water and a scotch spray pad. To scuff the hood we're using a red scotch spray pad on this. Because it's a base color, it's going to be white, and I'm going to do the artwork over that. But if I was going to spray this a metallic color, you'd want to use a less aggressive scotch spray pad, an ultra-fine scotch spray pad, so that uh, it won't so show the scratches. If you use aggressive scotch spray pad like this and spray a metallic cover, color over it like silver, it's going to show every scratch. So if you're using a metallic paint or color, you want to use an ultra fine. You want to go through and scuff it every inch. You don't want any, there's some shiny spots up here I see, but you don't want any of those left because you're going to get paint adhesion problems if you go and mask the hood off. The scuffy you can just do it by hand. I have a hook and loop sanding block and a scotch spray pad sticks to it pretty good. Um, it makes it a lot faster. It's easier to apply pressure so the hood, the surface will scuff fairly quickly. To scuff a hood this big like a Mustang, 45 minutes, maybe an hour because of all the little spots you got you have to get to. So take that into account when you bid the job. There's also aftermarket paintable hood liners. This one is for a Camaro. It's fiberglass. It comes primed. You 320 it and it clean it with prep saw and it's ready to paint and it, this one was made by a company i'll show you the box so you can get the dot com off of it right here so you can check with these people they make different models or different hood liners for different model cars uh, for people with car shows that are it's well worth them uh, purchasing one of these rather than do the felt headliner hood liner that's in there. This is that fiberglass hood liner. It comes primed and ready to go. So that's my tech tip on doing hood liners for car shows. Like I said, once you do one, if you do an excellent job, um, they go to a car show, you're going to end up with more work. Again, this is pretty popular at least here in Florida right now uh, you do one and you're gonna end up with four or five more I'll guarantee it so remember about the difference in the scotch brake pads and base coat and metallic colors hook and loop sand black helps you bulldog blend prep you just dip your uh, scotch brake pad in here in a bucket of water and it'll help uh, speed up the whole process of uh, scuffing it. So that's my little tech tip newsletter for 
this week. Subscribe to my channel, please. Let your friends know about my channel and this video. Until next time, this is Don Johnson. It's just paint, relax, and have fun.